Lord and ruler will be coming soon, and his name will be called Emmanuel, because he will be God with us. We offer this morning's Eucharist for the repose souls of Chia Tai Kiao, Philip Lien, Judy Lee, Nicholas Edward, Lucas Chin, Eugene Ong, Joseph Subok, Mary Opoi, Telega Devi Teresa, Anthony George de Cruz, Teresa Fernandez. We pray for the special intentions of Amy Joseph, who celebrates her birthday together with Joanna Resmin. We pray for David Jean and family, for Kukit Kiang, Agnes Chong and family, for Sabrina Joseph, for Chiang Yun Ping, John Ng, and in thanksgiving by Justin Lim. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, as we draw closer to the birth of our Savior, the Lord Jesus, let us prepare our hearts and minds by calling to mind our sins. For at times we may have failed to bring the good news of joy into the lives of others. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, at the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Hear in kindness, O Lord, the prayers of your people, that those who rejoice at the coming of your only begotten Son in our flesh. May when at last he comes in glory, gain the reward of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the Song of Songs. I hear my beloved. See how he comes leaping on the mountains, bounding over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle, like a young stag. See where he stands behind our wall. He looks in at the window. He peers through the lattice. My beloved lifts up his voice. He says to me, Come then, my love, my lovely one, come. For see, winter is past, the rains are over and gone, the flowers appear on the earth, the season of glad songs has come, the cooing of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree is forming its first figs, and the blossoming vines give out their fragrance. Come then, my love, my lovely one, come. My dove, hiding in the cliff clefts of the rock, 
in the coverts of the cliff. Show me your face. Let me hear your voice. For your voice is sweet and your face is beautiful. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, O sing him a song that is new. Ring, Ring out, out your, your joy, joy to the Lord, O you just, O sing him a song that is new. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp, with the ten-stringed lute, sing him songs. O sing him a song that is new, play loudly with all your skill. Ring, Ring out, out your, your joy, joy to the Lord, O you just, O sing him a song that is new. His own designs shall stand forever, the plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, O sing him a song that is new. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. Ring, Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just. O sing him a song that is new. David, who opened the gates of the eternal kingdom, come to liberate from prison the captive who lives in darkness. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory, glory to you lord. lord mary set out and went as quickly as she could to a town in the hill country of judah she went into zechariah's house and greeted elizabeth now as soon as elizabeth heard mary's greeting the child leapt in the womb and elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She gave a loud cry and said, Of all women, you are the most blessed, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why should I be honored with a visit from the mother of my Lord? For the moment your greeting reached my ears, the child in my womb leapt for joy. Yes, blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. The heat, the heat is on. We are about four days away from Christmas. And I guess as we draw closer to this beautiful celebration of all the feasts of the Lord, we begin to feel the intense heat of that encounter, the encounter with the beloved, as the book of songs will tell us today. Come, my lover, come, my beloved. The intense of that intimacy, of that longing to be with the beloved. That's how the book of songs narrates it today. And that's how we find ourselves drawing closer these days. To put it in a very simple phrase, the visitation. That's how we find ourselves as we draw closer and closer. The word that you, you keep finding yourselves is, are you ready? Have you prepared the way for the Lord? Is, the, is that silence of listening to the voice of the Lord 
finding its ways and its roots in you. Many a times I've said this and I repeat it tonight, at this morning. It's about the interior silence that you find from within. When you find yourself in the stillness of that wilderness, in that interior silence, you will find that voice. And when you find that voice, you will share that voice with someone. Yesterday we had the Annunciation. The angel appeared to Mary and told Mary that she is one that is full of grace, highly favoured. And today Mary brings that joy to Elizabeth. It's the second joyful mystery. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Mary brings that joy to Elizabeth. And Elizabeth cries out, the moment your greetings reached my ear, the child leapt in my womb. It's good to ask ourselves these three important things today. Do I find the stirrings of the Spirit in me? Do I share that stirrings of the Spirit with others? And do I stir the Spirit in others? To find it, to share it, and to stir it in others. That's what Mary did today at the home of Elizabeth. The visitation. Let us ask the Lord for the grace today that we will find the Spirit, that we will share the Spirit, and that we will stir the Spirit in the lives of people in our encounter and in our visitations. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. 
through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in praise. And so, Father, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with the host and power of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. In giving you thanks, Father, he broke it. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving you thanks, Father, he gave the chalice to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, the, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, the Blessed Apostles with St. Faustina and St. John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise, to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With faith and confidence, we turn to God, our Father, as we pray. 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. We'll take a moment to offer that peace to one another. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled.
Let us pray. Lord, may the participation in this divine mystery provide enduring protection for your people, so that being subject to your glorious majesty in dedicated service, they may know abundant health in mind and in body. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Prayer for all. God, God our, our merciful Father, Father source, source of healing, healing cast the light of health, health and well-being on those who have been exposed to coronavirus, those, those who have contracted the disease, bless them, protect them, and bring them speedily to full recovery. God of wisdom, bless medical scientists and researchers around the world with insight and skill, dedication and fortitude that their work yields knowledge and understanding, speedily finding a vaccine, treatments and deterrence to its spread. Source of life, grant public health and government officials the strength to act swiftly and decisively with compassion and understanding in service to humankind, fighting this outbreak threatening the lives of our brothers and sisters, nations and communities, young and old. God of the present moment, bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make them the equal of whatever lies ahead. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus, through the intercession of our blessed Mother Mary. Amen. Have a blessed day and stay safe. Same to you, Father.